Welcome back to Nintendo 64 of Symphonia of Tales. <laughs> Symphonia of Tales. Yeah. Anyway, now that we've got our healer back, and thankfully I think that's all I'm going to need, we need to go find our par other party members. Well, I don't have rain optimized yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get her some moves here, but ultimately I'm going to like try to pinch it off a bit until I go to the Coliseum when I can get her when I choose to look up a guide to get her concentrate. And concentrate in this case allows her to cast spells faster. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it means like she doesn't get interrupted when she casts them. Oh shit! Well, that's awfully inviting. I sound like Colette saying that. <laughs> it did. Oh no! <laughs> Where the heck is this funky? These change depending upon if Zealous or Kashina aren't with you. In which case, Colette takes their place. And Colette gets haunted by Remy. Oh, crap. Let's get the hell out of here. Where to? <laughs> Quick to the void. They'll never suspect us being there. <laughs> What's that thing down there? Yikes. What's the matter? You'll be caught unless you hurry up and run. Ah, our what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> our personal demon is coming back to haunt us. Why is Kuchi now? It's got to be an illusion. There's no way those two would be here. You're so stupid. You're wearing a donut on your head. <laughs> You're a village of fucking ninjas. <laughs> I want to know either. It's so sad. How did someone so unworthy become the chosen? Because you're bedridden. <laughs> Neither of you should have been born. Ow! Everyone would have been so much happier had you not been born. Uh, we can't really bend that one on us. Your father should have wore a condom. Your birth certificate gets a letter of apology from the Dirks Company. <laughs> <laughs> they really try to rub it in. <laughs> One betrayed his friends and then came back shamelessly, and the other killed the people of her village. Remember, just because what we have isn't an excuse, it does sound like an excuse. Run! You'll be devoured by the darkness and die. Okay. In hey. other words, run, run, or Damn we'll it, be well done. Be yes. By that monster, unless we do something. You gotta be kidding! <laughs> she, I'm getting tired. <laughs> All right. So let's just check his pulse. <laughs> Can I just whore my way out of this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can give one of my 99 lemon gels. <laughs> 999? No, one of my 99 lemon gels. Oh yeah, wait, isn't the cap 999? No, 99. It's, no, it's, not uh, it's even it's lower than that. It's actually like 20 or 30. Really? Yeah. Huh. God damn. Then it will all be over. If you got no other way to if you're not gonna use if you're not gonna use pleasant negotiation, go with the brute force method. And he'll remove the title and duties of the chosen from you and transfer everything to me. Celeste will gain the power of the chosen. So this is kind of a weird thing to see here in hindsight. Their own demons are still persecuting them, and I could get that with Sheena to an extent. Because you're never gonna be able to undo the feel the feeling of guilt totally from from that. But Zalus already came to terms with that kind of shit. Yeah. So in a way, this kind of like retroactively negates events that happened previously, for the sake of having, for the sake of giving Zalus personal demons. Right. But if you have Zalus here instead, you have Colette, who's haunted by Remiel, and that makes more sense to me. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or Kratos, for that matter. Kratos gets haunted by Lloyd. Don't tell me you were eaten by that monster. That Lloyd is the real illusion. The monster is mimicking his voice to lure you. I'm not an illusion. I'm also a soprano. People of Mizuho to become part of the age of lifeless beings. You, you know, if this actually was a fucking spider monster. This would have been the best <laughs> trap ever. <laughs> I. But both of you have to. Oh fuck! The illusion's <laughs> acting up. <laughs> you know, fucking direct TV. <laughs> direct TV. <laughs> <laughs> Who should have got Comcast for I am Mythos? But those ads were funny. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't have a lemon gel, you can't. When you, 
this is what happens when you don't buy a life bottle. When you when you spend all your money on weapons, you don't have a life bottle. When you don't have a life bottle, your sister gets killed. When your sister gets killed, you go insane. When you go insane, you institute the age of lifeless beings. Don't institute the age of lifeless beings. Get the right TV. Soul. <laughs> Even though I stabbed him in the back! And now you can transform into a spider! I mean, how cool is that? Because <laughs> I was, you dumbass. He is valuable! You are valuable! I never would have gotten all those items without you. You have a magical penis that only James Bond would be proud of. <laughs> yeah, right? You know, if, if Mithos was really gonna make good on his word, he would have fucking completely obliterated it the second she just said no. Technically, you are running. Shut up, Ethos. Damnation or salvation? I guess there's only one way to find out. Munch! <laughs> it's out there all wrong. <laughs> oh, it really was a spider with Lloyd's voice. <laughs> it's not like I can really run away from the fact that I was born. Exactly. Especially since we now have our newfound pathetic value and all. That's backhanded as shit, Zalz. My challenge is head on. Yeah. Running won't solve anything. Even though you ran away from... Oh, this is a black boy. What possible value does one burden to exist with cursed blood have? I don't know, look what you accomplished. The only way to save yourself. Humans are... So arrogant. Why, you? <laughs> what do we have there? How she's she evil? Good for that. Oh, that's... Really a majestic glow. Spider figurine. But it's broken in half. It is? Huh? Yeah, it looks old to me. Admonition to not run away. Or maybe it's just a golden spider, Lloyd. Yeah. Look at it. Maybe it is. I'm gonna hang on to it as a reminder. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> 98 more to go. Meanwhile, we can go examine those glyphs. And I'm gonna say this right now, I completely missed these on my very first playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> These are all optional. Dark, pleasant, sleep and slide to me. Who the fuck are you? Give me yourself. Ah, the fugitive. All right, what's the deal with this thing? This is like pretty creepy. He's a ma he, he's a mage. He resists water, light, darkness, and lightning. But they're very hard for you to have, so don't worry about him. He resists light magic, but he isn't going to resist the stunning effects of photon. All three of these guys are really pathetic. Look at the damage he just did to Rain. Fucking single digits. Really, yeah. And that's it for him. Hey, look, I give you my selfishness, not battle skill. <laughs> give me your selfishness. Ow! <laughs> it stings and it tastes like cinnamon. <laughs> my blood, my mouth tastes like blood and pennies. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I just gained from that boss was. The magic ring, which they say increases the stats, I never notice it. So I don't bother with them. Maybe it's because the equipment you already have is already well enough, you know? Maybe. And go figure, Regal's in jail. Where's your Hadouken now? I promised I would never use it again. Regal! <laughs> <laughs> I'll save you guys. They're in the jail cell. That was really heavy handed with, with symbolism. my monopoly get out of jail free card I I just saw <laughs> and Zello said it was stupid yes. <laughs> Zello <laughs> said stupid shut up loiter thinks it's pretty good <laughs> a trap even if it is remaining here indefinitely would not be particularly meaningful let us search Ooh, for I think you finish each other's sentences cuz that's all we're good for I'm so glad you two are safe this is really obnoxious possible please wait I'll take you to Lloyd. You're it's dead. Illusion. Alicia is dead. Yes. She was murdered. This is one of those things that makes sense for Prisea. Even though I'm right here, breathing, my very own sister insists that I'm dead. I saw it. You yeah. were dead. <laughs> I was there. I was murdered by Regal. Here I am, alive in front of you. Isn't that enough? I, I, that was almost as big a contradiction as Steve Burnside. <laughs> 
Yes, it's true I was murdered by Regal, but I'm alive in front of you now. Huh? Isn't that anything? Isn't that all what matters? The no! <laughs> now, they're going over to symbol symbol symbological angle here. So taking it at face value makes it fall apart. This really is sort of like Perseus still not forgiving Regal for the murder of her sister. And to be fair to the game, it, she never explicitly said, I forgive you, Regal. No. True. I get that. But as we brought up just a second ago, she was there. She saw it happen. No, 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 no. We're not talking about, like, defending Alicia the Phantom. It's, like, more like defending the fact that Regal killed her sister and she's still not forgiving him for that. Yeah, but even Regal's though... willing to go through with murdering the Phantom, but Perseus, like, it's not so much, like, you know, it's more of an excuse for Perseus to finally vent out that you still murdered my sister regardless. Eh, I think this is kind of stupid because... We had the scenes earlier where Perseo... Yeah, true, maybe she didn't completely accept Regal. But we had that scene in the graveyard, at, at the tombstone. Alicia... That person, that, no, but you're looking at it from the angle of... We know that Alicia's the Phantom. We all know that. Perseus just trying to keep the same Fane alive and murder Regal. Because Regal did, Regal did murder the sister. Even though Perseo already accepted that Alicia is dead and gone. After we, Even after we shattered the x fear. Good point. Never mind. Regal, however, is taking this more of a sense of wanting to punish himself for the murder of Alicia still. Which explains still why the fuck the cuffs are stolen. Don't confuse who you should be fighting. Dying won't settle anything. Killing won't solve anything. Unless we kill Mythos. Or Gavar. <laughs> or Magnus. Or Forsistus. How many do we murder up to this point to prove our way? And murderers must be punished. But if you keep Mythos has all the, uh... Convictions of a goddamn anonymous poster. <laughs> Besides, you're just running away if you die. Oh, we are. Forget the murder and the pain of that. Yeah, but Mythos says running away is really good. <laughs> running away from my crime. That makes me sad. What about my? No, you're always like that. You murdered me. It is true that Alicia died, but I know she doesn't want things to end like this. We've seen as much at the at the graveyard. Selfish. So it does boomer. So it's a boomerang. You fuck up. The real Lloyd. And that Alicia is a fake. Alicia wouldn't say things like that. Are you going to kill me? Stop deceiving my friends. <laughs> yeah, you just see that? <laughs> I'm bleeding pretty badly there. <laughs> Lost the will to atone for my crimes by taking comfort in the feeling of being punished. It is easier to just feel bad about what you did than it is to make amends for it, so I do like the moral that came out of all this as badly ham-fisted as it was. I closed off my heart and turned away from people who were trying to atone for their crimes. Murder's a pretty big one, though, admittedly. Murder is a pretty big one, though, unfortunately, especially when it was your own sibling. Yeah, I'd imagine that's a pretty big-ass hurdle to jump. Hell, I mean, I wouldn't even be a hurdle sometimes, it's just an impassable wall. Right. Yes. I will stop allowing myself to be trapped in the past. One as soon as my body ages again. The past alone. <laughs> and thus you forget the past. The countless lives that were lost. And the pain of those that suffered. Crimes must be met with punishment. So what about yours, Mythos? Shh. What's that? A knife. My Look only crime is that I loved. Blade. Look at the blade the chipped. It's kind of shattered, yeah. It's shattered, as in, they shouldn't be hung up there anymore. <laughs> Here, take it. Ow! <laughs> it's chipped. Meanwhile, we investigate Lloyd's own blood. And fight... Oh. I shift around my party members. Maybe this someday. is always a thing I would do. Maybe someday. <laughs> <laughs> take that blood. What if I pooped in it? <laughs> <laughs> Just then, he might have a condition, Lloyd. This is the judge. Don't even know anything about this one either. There's no one note. Different set of resistances. This one, the wind. This one, the wind and earth. Means fucking nothing to me in the long run. Yeah, they are absolutely murderers. Oh, because these ones are really easy. No, no, even no, on no, the hardest absolutely. difficulty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're absolutely murdering. Ow! Ow. Minus that one. That was that one. Corner caught me off guard. Lloyd, you need to remember that enemy's weakness. Oh man. Yeah, really, we got to study here too. <laughs> you bear your sin, and are the new light. Now the dark descends. 
And meanwhile, Lloyd's going, that's going to be a very awkward pint of blood to donate to the Red Cross. <laughs> Listen, don't take it off. It might initiate a battle. Seriously. He insists on being called the judged. <laughs> Dirty sinner. <laughs> now we gotta go back toward where we went toward... Now, you remember where, how we got into the, uh, well, Gaia dungeon underground? Yeah, we're, we're heading making, that area. Making our getaway. Right. But yeah, that doesn't the necessarily way. mean that we're going back to that place. Just the no, 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 we're just heading toward that area. Okay. Good for the good on good on us too, because I nearly went the wrong way. Meanwhile, where'd all the angels fucking go? Did I murder them all? Oh, I don't know. Don't angels have the right to life, Lloyd? I think I'm really just breaking his balls more so far <laughs> than actually caring whether or not he's being full of shit. Where's Jesus? Huh? What the? Is that what I look like? Am I collecting this entire time? Why is the mayor? Ah, there's Romeo. Be careful! It's an illusion. You think I'm an illusion? Yes, you're in a mirror. This is exactly why everyone says half elves are fools. Colette, you poor, poor chosen, a despised chosen who will destroy the world. Colette's really got some heavy baggage there, considering the failure. She, unlike everybody else, Colette never really um, relieved herself of the fact that her her pilgrimage failed. If you don't have Rain in your party at this point, she's plagued by Genus and she's plagued by her mother. For you to disappear from this world, or the image appears as her mother. There is no meaning for you to live. The mayor's blunt. Disappear. Well, the mayor. Die now. Huh. They could have got a better choice other than the mayor who well, already... So have... I... No, I'm just talking about in the context of, you know... Because I get what the mayor is supposed to represent. Right. The absolute worst of humankind. Because the guy's a total colossal douchebag. Right, he represents the absolute worst. And it's not so much the mayor himself, it's the mayor... It's just a form of it. Yeah. The mayor is ultimately representing the human ha hatred that Genus had to endure. Yeah. But as far as we're aware, as far as memory uh, serves me correctly, unless you, I'm pretty sure you can think of examples off the top of your head, the mayor is the only one in the game, human of, of a human, that gave us as much shit as he did. Like, his his levels of vile. But here's the thing. Up until we went to Tethayala, nobody knew Genus was a half-elf. If they did figure out that Genus was a half-elf, they would have probably labeled him the same as the Zions, and him and Rain would have been a lot worse off. Hmm. But, but the cat's mayor is just used. The cat's mayor. <laughs> the cat's meow. Mayor, the mayor of Asalia was really just chosen as a means to was chosen as the means to ultimately represent the human humanity and the prejudice that Genus faced. Yeah. Because I was the chosen, I didn't have the strength to approach anyone because I believed that I would die as the chosen. Wait, what? I'm gonna cast away that weakness. It's because I was the chosen and treated differently by I didn't bother getting strong because I knew, to fuck, I'm gonna die anyway. <laughs> exactly! It's my job. Exactly! You may as well fatten up the pig for the sacrifice. Yeah. the world. do you feel the same? Lloyd, I think I'm ready to have that iced coffee now. Yeah, seriously? That's ridiculous. There's no world for half-elves. Because humans... And this is Genus's character development. Genus? But I like you, Lloyd. Genus becomes that rate. I said it back in part one or two. Genus's entire character development is basically him becoming a racist, going, you know, I hate humans. Except that guy. He's alright. <laughs> he's, he's cool. Some of my best friends are human. Yeah. <laughs> but Genus is smart enough to realize that it's also a cycle of hatred. You hate them, they hate you, nothing gets resolved. So, take the first step yourself and stop and start ending the hatred that way. Hey, you two. So, I do like what Genus's arc went with. I just don't like how the character ended up resolving. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Hey, what's this thing that just came so, uh, not even looking at him. <laughs> you guys should take that. Lloyd, we're not playing with broken glass. <laughs> Think of the children, Lloyd. What kind of message are you spreading? You guys beat that weird mirror. You should be learning about really important things, like... Racial discrimination. I'll play with broken glass. Actually, you're gonna tell me to step under a ladder. 
idea, right? Now I switched them out just because, you know, thematics. <laughs> Investigate the broken mirror. And in we go. This thing reflects the bitterness of your heart. It is called the, the neglected. neglected. Huh. This one resists fire and ice. Good job of facing your demons there, Glut. Head on. <laughs> <laughs> Repeatedly. Do not play with broken glass. Otherwise, this thing comes out and gets you. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what you get? The Rungeal Powerball, a kick ass spell. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I neglected to give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate neglect. <laughs> Now fix that mirror. Well, fuck you, I ain't got the money for it. <laughs> Build to uh, M. Ethos. <laughs> Stop neglecting your duties, Lord. <laughs> You're returning your duties. <laughs> well, we got everybody back. Let's now we have to go break either. the. Now we have to find our way up to Darius Carlon's castle. Pitiful Ethos. Ethos is a pitiful person. This skate brought to you by Tales of Zephonia. <laughs> <laughs> he no longer has any friends left that he actually trusted. Yeah, because half of them betrayed him too, when you think about it. <laughs> what? I just like the way Persea delivered that line, and Sheena just has this derpy ass grin on her face before she just had to change her expression. Damn, I must have missed it. Let's make sure we value our friends. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now please insert Curtis. There's an 89% chance that I will agree with that. <laughs> 98% chance. No, 89%. Now she never does reach Phi levels. Or Phi. I don't know how you pronounce it. Phi. It's Phi, Phi. Full of I don't care. This is the Darius emblem. How are we taking this thing? It's a seal that blocks the path to Mythos' castle. Although I didn't know where it was. Then with this, the trap should be deactivated. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go. Do we know this is a matter of fact, or are we just assuming here? Just assume. You can tell the writers are tired. <laughs> it must mean we can save the world now. That's has to be has to be what it means. I better. I came this fucking far. <laughs> We're Forty-one hours into our adventure, right? Here we go. The second area of Darius Carlon. Mythos' castle. I think it's a castle anyway. Yeah, looks like it. It simulated the negative emotions that reside in everyone's hearts. Mm. Agreed. Yeah, right. Even though what they saw, even though they saw, they saw everything they saw about it was fake, it couldn't they couldn't stop themselves from being hacked by it. So basically, it was like a mind trap. Pretty good, actually. Lloyd wasn't pulled in by the illusions the emblem creates. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm joking. No, exactly. He's not the bullshit. <laughs> Remember, Eternal Sword. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Makes the impossible possible. Or because Lloyd was so strong. Uh -huh. We're thick at it. Anyway, there's one big puzzle here, but we're going to do that later. Right now, we're just going to worry about looting the place. Because there is indeed some fat fucking loot to get. Oh, but now there's no turning back. Interesting. Once get all girls, once get all guys. Can't turn back now. It's the final area of the game. If we turn back now, we'd be fucking dickheads. Yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but I didn't get my dickhead title yet. Yeah, right? Can you imagine Lloyd actually having a dickhead title that goes <laughs> ball with a head with a split on top? Make for an interesting Coliseum battle. <laughs> and now, dickhead Lloyd! <laughs> and the then... showstopper! The heartbreaker! <laughs> Dickhead! <laughs> and then Genus and then Genus goes eerily accurate. <laughs> still angels up here. That's all you're gonna fight. The Dark Commander just does more advanced spells, but they're still ultimately tier two. No threat. And of course, I'm just trying to scan all of them. Well, that's the same model from last time. He's still wearing different gear, though. Right. Like I said, one thing I do like about the Tales games is that even though they alternate the, even though they pretty much have the same sprite work, so to speak, 
They wanted a lot more different detail than most of the enemies so that they feel like two different entities. Yeah. Well, same model, anyway. Sprite refers to pixel art. Sorry. A lot of loot to get here, so, uh, start, start from one side of the castle, work your way down, then work your way up. Become the professional treasure hunter. Absolutely. Which I don't get well. in this playthrough because, god damn, is it really hard to get this fucking thing. The blue shield. The counterpart to the, uh, red shield. Also known as the abandoned shield. What a bit. What? It's weaker in defense than the shield I have, but it also gives Zelts a nice buff to his evasion, so I keep it on him. Head up in here, and we find ourselves a walkway. That's nice. Nice. It connects both of the, uh, it connects both the sides. east and west wing. Now, of course, to solve the puzzle, you need both the future stone and the past stone. And one of them always infuriates me to the point where I need to find a guide to look up how to get that stone open. <laughs> shield ring. That's actually a pretty helpful thing, actually, I think. Yep, there's one for, uh, rain. Ooh, I forgot to give her the star bracelet. There's, there, sometimes there's a chest sitting behind the couch, that's why I went to look. Nothing there, I keep thinking there's something there, I keep pressing X behind the couch, hopefully to collect some lint. And I give up <laughs> and I bail. You're looking for those table scraps. Hey, fuck, angels yeah, gotta eat too. Yeah. They're all eat better. Dark commander, lightning magic, and that's kind of about it with him. Good reach with that spear, though, so you may as well just block his attacks instead of trying to evade him. Hey, man, I know we commented earlier on the snozzes on these, on these dark spears. Kind of looks part bird because of it. How many angels have you met in your time, Johnny? <laughs> I'm, well, we have a friend named Angel. That we do, but... I can get away with the technicality by saying that. <laughs> Did Angel have a... Angel doesn't have big schnoz, though. No, Angel doesn't have big schnoz. I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't really kind of study characteristics. <laughs> you know. Any study characteristics, just looking at a person. You can always sort of define a, someone by... You know, there's one thing they always immediately think of when you're thinking of someone that you know. With you, it's beard. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> That's all I have is a beard? No, no, that's one that, that's only immediate That's all character. I have to you is they a big, sexy to, beard. You want me to just want me to say, <laughs> Matt, fat. No, that's kind of insulting if you don't find me, uh, if, you, uh, if you were to ask me. Uh, dude, I hate to break it to you, I'm pretty fucking pudgy. Yeah, you're pretty fucking pudgy, but I like to identify you more with the beard and not your gut. <laughs> my beard is awesome. Anyway. Now that we have enough time to stroke on my ego and beard, let's, uh, here's where you gotta go to find the past stone. Unfortunately, I forget what triggers that. So... That kind of is the reason why we're here for two parts. Yeah, we're not in, uh, finishing off the rest of uh, Darius Carlon in this part, folks. And there was something there, I just missed it, and it's probably going to blow up in, blow up in my face. <laughs> Double take. <laughs> they say when you uh, walk through a, a doorway, you immediately forget something. It always happens. Yeah, we always had those moments. You walk into the room and you forget the reason why you went in there. Yeah. Uh, what was I in here for? Oh, car keys. <laughs> oh, right, the roof's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> More looting. Fuck. Nice, nice chairs here. What do, you, what do you think about the uh, the origin of Mythos' castle? I mean, was this a place... Is this Was this yeah. his living quarters before he went all nuts? I think this was his living quarters after he went nuts. Now... For those of you out there who, fa who played Fantasia, could you tell me anything more about this world? Because I'm drawing a blank after this. Yeah, some of the... Do all the Tales games connect? Or are they, or are they like Final Fantasy? Where they all They're Final Fantasy. Okay. At best, you're getting some cameo battles. Yeah. And the items usually share the same sprite work and stuff like that. Like, gels are universal, but they're just gels for the sake of gels. Oh, okay. Sort of like with Final Fantasy and their potions. Yeah. It's like that. Hi there. Is this room taken? I think you have to you have to kill him, which causes oh. that the one of those chests to appear. Yeah. The past stone. Sorry, the other one's the future stone. I kind of would. You kind of get the idea to do that, considering that he doesn't actively tail you. He or just, he was just really passive aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not all angels are bad. Yeah, but you're in the way. Yeah, seriously. Dark door. Here we find ourselves on a rooftop. Now check behind that wall up there. There's a hidden treasure chest. Which gets you elemental guard for the ladies. 
This can either be Colette's or Perseus' ultimate armor. I think it's their ultimate armor anyway. It really does uh, help to explore every nook and cranny when you get the chance. Yeah. In Tales of Zephonia case, just look for the uh, examine prompt to let you know if something's there. I decided to shift Lloyd back around to the T-type tech tree real quick. Because at this point, I realize I'm missing Sword Rain Beta. There's a Ninja Sword for Lloyd, which is actually very helpful up here. So you can deal dark damage to the angels. Wow, how far away into the game when we get a weapon that has a mundane name as Ninja Sword? <laughs> <laughs> there are ninjas, you know. What the? <laughs> Remember Mizuho. Now we have to head all the way back down and collect loot on this side. Well, that's one wing. Could it covered? Yeah. Let's do it again! 5,830 steps, Lloyd. Perseus, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he went right for me. <laughs> you mentioned steps, and that's that's actually another category of Final playthrough Fantasy for Final Fantasy VI. The lowest steps possible. I have no Because what else are you going to fucking do with the step counter besides step mine? They, some people make that make that into like a um, competition. I did this Final Fantasy VI in this many steps. Yeah. Good for you. And there are lowest step possible guides. I'm like, good for you. Go outside. <laughs> actually, you're tell me you got a million hours in melee. Somebody actually, there's actually a, a there is a prompt for it. Oh yeah. my god, you put a million hours in melee. Get fucked. Go outside. <laughs> the Sakurai's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you miserable fuck. <laughs> Thanks for buying my game. I'll get the fuck out. <laughs> I can see you saying that, too. Oh, is that jovial little fellow right there? That is a dragon. Yeah, I can see that. I think it's, it's brain exposed. exposed. Yeah. Jinx. Oh, fuck. That's only for kids, dude. <laughs> well, fuck you. It is not even saying with Elliot, anyway. Because Elliot doesn't know. A little know. meta sense. Every time we started a recording session, Elliot and Matt end up saying hot most at the exact same time almost every time. And you still haven't... Neither of you have treated to those Cokes yet. Yeah, I have. <laughs> That's about do, and I bought you that. No, I'm talking about the times I bought them. Oh. Uh, does Ellie even drink Coke? No, Ellie is not. Uh, he's not much of a soda drinker anymore. Really? No, he doesn't drink. No, he drinks energy drinks. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. No, I, yeah, sentiments exactly. Oh. I mean, no, let me rephrase that. Anything but like Red Bull. Nah, because I had Red Bull a few times and. To me, it was just a really super concentrated Mountain Dew. For me, it was just piss. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Now we come back up to the here. Slay him. Because, you know, he got in the way. Let's head ourselves into here and hopefully find some loot behind this sofa. Sweet. The other female armor. Prism Guard. All of the elements. Cool, cool. Except darkness. So it's kind of like um, the Minerva armlet or guard in uh, Final Fantasy. Which one? Uh, I'm thinking probably either four or seven. Sevens was a uh, fire, ice, holy, and something else that you never got hit with. Yeah. Water. Well, the no, point water is, water was male. Well, the point is it protected it protected from a lot of things. Right. That one protects you from everything but darkness. That's a very oddly specific angel. You have to go slay him all the way down there to get that chest to pop up. <laughs> it's like they're running out of time. <laughs> why him specifically? Yeah, why couldn't it be him? Says you. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> Don't have enough room for any time. <laughs> Open wide, Zellos. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Look. Haha, uh -huh, you can't carry anymore. Hey, Genus. This one's a suppository. <laughs> no, no, no uh, it rains, uh, grinds it into powder and dope slaps Genus. Oh, Christ. <laughs> the energy tablet pip slap from Darius Carlock. <laughs> so invigorating, you feel like a million bucks. <laughs> now there's only one small problem. I forgot how to get up there. <laughs> Now I remember, it's up that way. Nope. <laughs> it's a ritual, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. Ain't a ritual, I'm just getting old. Nearing that dirty 30. 
Dirty 30. I never heard of that term. Announced. I didn't either until I saw a friend of mine posted on Facebook. Dirty 30. What's so dirty about being 30? Honestly, 30 is not bad. It's 31. <laughs> it's a bad one. Son of a bitch. No, because you you say it and if and you feel the age. 31. No, nah, I think like the good. Because I get the mentality, but I think the dirty number in the 30s is 36. Why 36? I don't know. Why not 35? Why not 37? You just pick a number and you go with the 36. In my case, just happens to be that one. <laughs> For me, it's 35. 35. That's yeah. when the mind comes together and the body falls apart. <laughs> I need to hurry up and be 35, though. Huh? I need to hurry up and be 35, though. Why? I don't know, man, because I think by the time I'm 35, I like to think that one of my college bills are paid off. Pissing in the wind. Uh, no. Interest is accumulating. I keep, like, to... Uh, I'll tell you one thing. You know, and, uh, this is completely irrelevant to what's going on, folks. We're treasure grinding. That's all we're doing. Look interest what we're doing. really fucks you in the ass. In one particular, like, um... I can't remember. It was Chase or Wells Fargo. Like, I'm barely paying off what I'm... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you, you guys don't need to hear that. And that was the college loan woes. Yeah. Next time we solve the puzzle of the past and future stones. <laughs>